it's Monday, which means it's the start to a new work week. That roll in was super smooth, I know. <laughs> I have been getting a lot of questions about what it's like being a full time YouTuber, what it's like to work from home, you know, what kinds of things I do every day. So I thought I would take you along this week to give you a more focused look at my work week. But before we get started, I do want to quickly mention that today's video is sponsored by Timothy's. Excitement levels are high because I've really been enjoying Timothy's coffee blends at home. They're also a Canadian company. They originated here in Toronto, which makes my love for them just hit that top level. And it also gives me a reason this week, not that I really need one. I always wanna talk about coffee, but I have a good excuse to talk about coffee this week. More on Timothy's later this week. Let's start today by going through my to-do list. One of the things I like to do at the beginning of each workday is figure out what are my top three or four things that I really need to get done that day to make me feel like I had a productive workday. <laughs> I love rolly chairs. <laughs> the first item on my list is to get Planner Monday done. I also need to edit a video for Insta and schedule pins on Pinterest. Now ideally I'll get more done today, but if I get these done, then at least I know the priority items got checked off. And that I feel like is really important because if I don't have some sort of guideline for me to know when I have had like the day, the work day that I really wanted, and then I will just feel compelled to always be working, which is easy to do when you work from home. Today I went a little washi tape heavy because I used my, my rose gold washi tape from Scott. So usually when I show me doing Planner Monday in a video, I just kind of show it. I don't really explain the logic behind doing a Planner Monday series on Instagram or my Q&A series on Instagram. And really it's it's great for me to do these series uh, because it gives me some sort of guideline on what to post on those days. Like I love knowing on Mondays I'm doing something planner related and on Wednesdays I'm doing a q and It just makes it really easy to create content on Instagram stories. But it also means that you guys are getting value on Instagram that you're not getting anywhere else. Like Planner Monday is an exclusive for Instagram. In this rare occurrence, you're being able to see it on a video, but usually I don't show what I show on Planner Monday on videos. So it gives you a reason to go follow me there. I don't usually do Q and A's on this channel, um, but on Instagram, you can get that weekly. So I always am trying to find ways to give you guys a reason to follow me on different platforms. I think I've really figured it out with Instagram. Matthew, they're not even in high school yet. What? Yeah, I would not lie to you. In what world? Actually, you know what? In this world. Cinema world. My brother and my friend Nadine had stopped by, so I decided to come work in the kitchen and do something a little less brain heavy so that I could still socialize while I was around them, but still get stuff done. I always embrace people coming over to come visit because I do work from home, so that's a way to get socializing in. finish the spread my desk is looking a little cray I covered the finished product but if you want to see the photo I'm about to take with my DSLR you can go check out my Instagram at Caitlin Marie De Silva and I think now would be a great opportunity to talk to you guys about what goes into an Instagram photo this beautiful camera right there is the Canon 80D and it's on a tripod that I got from Amazon all of the links will be in the description box below I set up a few whiteboards from Dollarama here and that's what I use as a reflector for my shots it helps fill in a lot of these shadows on this side. Please take note of the fact that I'm using my Tombos as a stand for one of my whiteboards. So funny. Got the Instagram photo, very happy with how it turned out, but not looking forward to cleaning any of this. Definitely the not so fun part about creating is the cleaning up the creating. <laughs> if I could do the creating without the cleaning, life would be good. I mean, I even have to vacuum because I have I don't know if you can even catch on camera all these eraser shreds all over the place on my floor. But we'll not be tackling any of this until I get body 
coffee within my body. <laughs> to the kitchen. Decided to sit on my counter because why not? As I mentioned yesterday, this video is sponsored by Timothy's and that has been the coffee I've really been loving lately at home. It's nice to be able to make a quality cup of joe from the comfort of my own kitchen. In the mornings, I've really been going for this guy right here, the extra dark roast rainforest espresso. But during the afternoons, especially when I hit that afternoon slump, but I like something a little bit more fun. So I've really been loving the winter carnival flavor. It's a medium roast blend and it just has that little little twinkle, a little extra something something. <laughs> I'm gonna make a cup, add my coconut sugar and soy creamer like I usually do. And then I will work on getting that office back in tip top shape. So much better. Oh my goodness. New outfit, same day. I just shot some content that I have to submit tomorrow. Um, some IG related stuff. So, a little bit of an outfit change. What a productive day it has been though. I am getting all the to do slashed. <laughs> I did just realize though that I have only had one bagel today and it's two o'clock. My stomach is growling, it's angry with me. I may use this as an opportunity to just get out of the apartment because I think that is one of the things that is most difficult about working from home is you're just always home. So it's easy to become a hermit, but this might be a great opportunity to just get outside, take a walk, breathe some fresh air, and remind myself that like there's a world that exists beyond these apartment walls, you know? It is really nice though. I got a lot of um, deadline related stuff done. Yesterday night I ended up editing some photos for Pinterest and they were all to promote my December plan with me. Sometimes I use PicMonkey if I just want to be really quick about it. Uh, but last night I actually used Photoshop in combination with Procreate to create some of the titles for my pins. Today is an editing day, so I will be on my laptop. I edit off on my laptop on Final Cut Pro. It's gonna be an actual YouTube video, which is always a lengthier process. I haven't even done the rough cut yet, so I almost feel like I'm gonna go on the couch and do some editing because I it's a gloomy day out in Toronto. It's raining, so I feel like it might be a good opportunity to just chill out. I also got my Q&A Wednesday post up where I asked people to submit questions. Usually I have already at this point taken time to create some really cute like spreads to write my answers in, but today I might be doing it a little bit more in the moment, so that will probably interrupt my editing process. I will probably regret this, but we've committed. <laughs> I cannot get over this workstation right now. Meditation pillow for the bum, pillow for the back. I am currently doing a rough cut, so that means that I'm just quickly going through all the footage and uh, cutting any of the stuff that I really don't want, and then I'll go over it again with a fine tooth comb and do all like the fun edits. And that's when the iPad will come in and I'll do all like my text animations, add music. <laughs> day so I'm back at my desk and it is still an editing day I'm actually on the more fine-tuned editing portion of the editing process that means today I will be using my iPad quite a bit to start doing some text animations I also have some extra shots to get for this video um, so I guess like the filming's not quite done sometimes when I'm editing a video I realize oh there's some gaps in in what I said. Sometimes it's just like even a five second clip just to provide some context. It is just like so perfect. I'm so much more efficient in this room. And this right here, see all the light that's happening? This is exactly why my office is in this room and not in what is my bedroom now. The lighting during the day is almost always like pretty good in here and I just feel like it's a much more uplifting environment than my bedroom, which is always dark <laughs> never bright in there i just added a piece of music to some roughly edited footage and this is an example of why you would need to you know do some fine tune editing because this is what the clip looks like just as is right now
and this is what the clip looks like now that I've gone at it. That honestly is just with some basic cuts and I think it's such a huge improvement. Got the thumbnail for the new video done. Also made a second cup of coffee for the day. Very much so needed because I'm crashing. I'm really happy with how this thumbnail came together. I actually took both these photos on my phone, imported them to Photoshop and created all of this. And I like the fact that I can zoom way out and know that I can still pretty much read the text, which is good because on phones, thumbnails are pretty small. So that's something I always like to verify. Sometimes I also will go in with my Apple Pencil and add some doodles, but I think for this one, there's a lot happening. So I'm gonna avoid that. Taking some sticky notes right now and a Sharpie, and I'm gonna actually be putting down some video ideas for the last little bit of the year and also for the beginning of 2020. This really helps me like writing things down helps me not stress so much because I always have a lot of ideas coming into my head but if I don't get it out on paper I have a lot I, I notice that my stress levels raise because I'm just worried that I'm gonna forget about those things or I'm not gonna get to them but if it's on paper at least I know the goal situation and then I just try my best to get that done. So I'm gonna write down a ton of videos, some other stuff that I wanna get done for the end of the year related to some projects I really wanna get started on in 2020. By the end of 2020, I really do wanna be focusing my energy dominantly on YouTube, but also exploring new things. So that is a big focus for the year ahead. Also, it is like 3.30 right now and it is getting so dark. What is going on? <laughs> I got all my ideas up there and I don't know if you could even see that, but based on what I wrote there, I'm actually gonna schedule in those videos directly into my calendar. And in addition to just scheduling when I want them to go up, I'm also gonna schedule filming days for them, editing days for them. Um, that way I kind of, I, well, and I don't kind of, I know exactly how I'm gonna get everything done. Having a schedule is always important. I think as a student, I know that when I had a heavy workload, like that was the strategy that worked for me is I scheduled work sessions as if they were classes. Um, and that's how I was able to really juggle so much in school. And now it's like, I have other things I wanna bring onto my plate. So that will mean that I'm going to be overwhelmed and that's going to require me to have like some really good scheduling in place to make sure that I'm actually getting things done and I'm putting my time where I want to be. So if you are working for yourself, if you work from home, like I think it's so critical to, to have something to follow, a guideline to follow because that's, that's how I stay disciplined. And it's easy when you're at home to just kind of chill, calm down the pace maybe a little bit, but that's, that's not going to get you you know, to that next level that you wanna be at. That's what I want. 2020, I wanna be a bigger year. I want it to challenge me more. I'm done school, but it doesn't mean that I wanna stop being challenged. I, I wanna have something to work towards and some sort of goal. So that is going to be the big focus of the year. I'm really just finding more comfort with working from home and from having a routine and all this stuff. It'll be my first official year where it will be completely full-time, which is just insane. I can't even believe that it's, it's been how many months since my graduation day? Six months and eight months since I like finished school. It like time just goes so fast. Realized while editing this video that I never filmed an outro. So I'm a real professional YouTuber. <laughs> I feel like this ended up being a really productive week. I filmed lots of content. I got some photos for Pinterest, Instagram, edited tons of stuff, drank lots of coffee. So all in all, I'm a really happy gal. <laughs> Thank you again to Timothy's for sponsoring today's video. You can find out more about Timothy's by clicking the link in the description box below. And since this week was filled with so many caffeinated moments, I would love to know when do you turn to coffee to give you that little extra boost during your day? I personally feel like my day doesn't start until I've had that first sip of Java. <laughs> like this video, if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you get notifications like that. And I will see you all very soon with a new video. Until then, bye guys. And on that note, another coffee is about to be made. Ooh, another smooth transition out on the rolly chair.